guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my favorite and best online shopping secrets. If you're familiar with me in this channel, you'll know how much I love to not pay full price. I love getting a bargain for items and I love a good sale. I don't know, something about it just makes me feel <laughs> really good that I've saved money when spending money. I don't know. It's like that whole thing when you come home and you're like, I saved this much money and then your husband's like, but how much did you spend? <laughs> but you know, you try and save more than you spend. I love a good shop. I love the fact that we can shop online so easily now and things come straight to your door without the hassle of going somewhere, finding parking, you know, like it just makes it so easy not to mention that you can save so much money by shopping online as well. So I'm gonna talk through a few of my favorite things to help you shop online and save the most amount of money that you can. <laughs> okay, so my first online shopping tip is actually an app called Shoptagger. So I have teamed up with Shoptagger for this video. Shoptagger is free, absolutely free to use. You can use it either on your desktop or an app on your mobile device. I personally love using the app because when you've got TV on or something and you're just scrolling through or you click an email and you're like, oh, I like that. Basically what Shoptagger is, it's a wish list, but all in one. So instead of going to your different stores and going to wish list tab, it's all in one place. And then from there, what the wish list does is it actually notifies you when that item goes on sale. <sighs> it's so, it's just, it's mind blowing how easy it is and how easy it is you can save money by using a tool like this. So I will quickly jump into a little tutorial that I'll do on my desktop and show you how it works. Okay, so this is the ShopTagger website. So on the desktop, you can go here and then all you need to do is press this button here, the Get ShopTagger, it's free, which will open up a new window and then it will just ask you to install. I've already got mine installed, um, but it will ask you to install on your Chrome or whatever browser you're using but mine's already installed so I'm gonna go ahead and log in once you're logged in or signed up it will then take you to your dashboard and this is what it looks like I have of course saved a few things to my dashboard but it's really great over here you've got my lists so I've got a few different lists uh, bags belts dresses and then there's one called Dyson for my vacuum cleaner <laughs> you can also choose if you just want to see bags or if you want to see bags and dresses um, it's really great or you can just see all and that will bring up everything that you've got so you've got everything here that you want that's saved but how you get it here is let's go to my Teresa uh, this is one of my favorite sites it's such a good site and they quite often have sales as well so this works great with ShopTagger as well as Netaporter that one's really good too once you find something that you like let's say this YSL bag see this already pops up saying save item but there is a little button up here uh, and then you just go save product now you want to be notified I like to do any price change um, and then you can actually choose your list when you save it. So you choose the list and then you press save. Then it tells you that it's saved and let's go back to our dashboard and there it is already there. Now, as you can see, like a few things are on sale. Now I only saved this one yesterday or today, this one here. This is a dress from Dottie that I have saved and it'll just redirect me to Dottie as well. And then I can just look and see, yep, it is on sale. I can save 25%. Um, this sale ends Monday and yeah, then you can buy it straight away from there. It just tells you when things are on sale. It's fabulous. So that's my little dashboard. And um, yeah, when something does go on sale, you get a notification by email. Um, and then you can go and check it out straight away. Okay, so one of the really cool new features about ShopTagger is coupons. So if we head to the coupons, it gives you some coupons for some of their sites that are ShopTagger friendly, which is awesome. But let me show you a really cool feature. So if I go to Netta Porter, it's got this 
uh, 15% off seasonal edit and then it's got the coupon so let's go there so it, it copies that but the first tab that I was on goes to Netta Porter. Let's see. Okay so let's say that I really really love this Chloe bag. Add to shopping bag and if we go proceed to purchase with the bag it will actually come up and ShopTag will tell you that there are coupons found. So you go apply coupons and it tests out whatever coupons and it will find one that works. It looks a bit crazy with everything flashing up, but it's saying that I can save $496.50 with the code FIRST15. There is the new price of $2,813. So that's something that is so easy and it's already installed on your computer um, then you can just go continue to check out and it will adjust the price for you so typically for me i personally love using it on my mobile because if i'm watching tv or something like that or i'm a passenger and we're driving somewhere i will just be scrolling through and then i can quickly and easily save it to my shop tagger app and then it's going to notify me when it comes on sale. So I do actually get emails when things go on sale so I get the notification and you can also get a push notification on your mobile which Oh my god, it just pops up, lets you know that something's on sale. It's great. So we'll have a link down below where you can look up Shop Tagger and download it. It's super easy and it can save you a bucket of money. So my next tip, it's, it's pretty basic knowledge, uh, but I want you to remember everything goes on sale. Pretty much everything. <laughs> so for me personally, I love shopping at Dotty, Forever New, Portman's, that type of thing. And their clothes always come on sale. And it's not limited to just clothes. It's limit. It's everything always goes on sale pretty much. You can always save some money if something goes on sale. So talking about there's a dress at Dotty that I really love and I want to get. They will quite often have a... 30% off store wide or 40% off store wide or 20% off dresses. You just have to wait for that special to come up. If you're in a pickle and you're like, I need it for this weekend, ugh, you kind of need to plan ahead, but they do regularly have sales and Forever New quite often has a 20% off store wide. So you just wait until those sales happen uh, so you can save some money. And then if you want to actually take a gamble or a risk on something, you definitely can because things will then go on clearance. When they go on clearance, you're risking the size and the color, uh, but if they do have stock, you can shop it online or you can actually see which stores might have it. And then um, you can call up and put one on hold if you can get there. Sometimes they can actually courier it to the store where you are or they can send it to you in some cases. But yeah, you do risk losing your size or your, the color that you're after, but you can save well over half price if you do wait for the item to come on sale. And then quite often from there, they'll have like a further 20 or 30% off the sale price. Number three is actually signing up to the store's newsletter. So an email that comes, um, you can choose the frequency of the emails, but for certain stores, I like to be notified all the time when they have sales. Sometimes I'll get them daily and then Actually, with some of them, I'll get them, if they're having a big sale, I'll get them a couple of times a day. It's actually come in handy so much where I've got the email in the morning and then I'm like, I'll do that later. And then I get the email in the evening and I'm like, okay, I need to do this now. I need to decide if I want to purchase this or give it a miss or if there's anything else I want to purchase from the site. Signing up to emails can be a really good thing. Of course, if you find that you're getting too many emails or you're not shopping on certain sites, just unsubscribe from those email lists. Um, that's no big deal. You can always sign up again or change your subscription notifications. So this is kind of like a double whammy. The other thing about signing up to a newsletter, if there's, say this is the first time that you are purchasing from this website, the store will actually usually have a coupon code that they'll email you once you are signed up. It's usually something like welcome 10, but this is great if you are, say that there's a dress for a specific occasion and you're like, I need it by this weekend. I've been looking at this dress and they don't have a sale on right now. You can always get 10% off by signing up 
their email. It's just a no brainer. Like it's so easy to do. One other thing that I want to mention about signing up to the newsletters is sometimes the stores might have a private sale. So you can only go through your log on and you might only see those prices if you are logged on. Whereas it's not accessible to the public yet so that's another reason to be part of the newsletter and you know frequently buy from certain stores because they do often do the private sales okay my next tip is to google a coupon code this has worked for me so many times quite often like the uh signing up for the welcome 10 like 10 percent off welcome discount i have googled you know like forever new coupon code or whatever store coupon code and I've actually got coupon codes that have worked and saved me like 20% or something like that definitely don't be afraid to do that I believe that there's browser tools that might help you do this but I just google it and it can save you 20% or even more potentially sometimes you have to try a few different coupons to realize that they work okay so my next tip is to wait for regular sales so I'm talking about the Black Friday the Cyber Monday the Boxing Day the long weekend quite often stores will have sales over those times to celebrate different occasions to get more customers in to get them buying more and it's a great time to save and there can be amazing discounts to be had potentially you don't know what's going to go on sale for black friday uh, but quite often in a store they'll have different percentages off of different things so maybe if your item that you want specifically isn't there something similar might be on sale but those sales you can save so much money um, but you do have to get in there early so keep that in mind and especially if the store is worldwide you've got to make sure that you're in the right time zone and you're checking it as soon as it starts kind of thing or you know not too soon after because things can sell out okay so my next tip is to use a cashback app or way of purchasing like a credit card or something like that uh, a personal favorite of mine is actually shop back they quite often do upsized cashbacks the other day i actually shopped on the iconic and they had uh, a 30 percent birthday sale so selected items had 30 percent off but shop back actually had a 20 percent cash back meaning the things you were buying were 50 percent off <laughs> Like to me, that's a no brainer. Like that's just mind blowing. Um, and the Iconic has some great brands as well. Quite often they'll do upsize cash back on like Boohoo, like a 20% cash back, but Boohoo already has 40 or 50% off. So you're only paying like 40% retail or something ridiculous like that. The way that shop back works is that you purchase through the app and then the money sits in your available balance after a certain amount of time it takes to clear. So to make sure that you don't return it or and everything's gone through fine. And then after a certain amount of time, you can actually withdraw that money into your bank account. Uh, there are other ways to do this. And another way to do it is uh, certain credit cards have this um, or Ebates. There's definitely other ways to get cash back and then save money. The problem is that you have to spend the money and then usually wait a certain time to then get the cash back. You don't get it back straight away. Sometimes it can take a couple of months before you can get it back, which is disappointing. And especially if you don't have the money, I wouldn't recommend just buying it on your credit card when you don't have all the money. It's kind of like a piggy bank, like you put the money somewhere and eventually you'll get it back. But overall, it does help you save money on your purchases. Okay, so my last tip is to actually check the prices on different sites. Now this, I'm talking about generic items. For example, in my shop tagger, <laughs> I have I have a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner from like five different websites to see if it goes on sale in any of those. Before you go through with a big purchase like that, if you don't already have the item saved, is just Google the item and check different sites and make sure you're getting the cheapest one. One might be on sale somewhere um, or have a better sale. Google Shopping can assist with this and show you the cheapest place where you can purchase it you know like a vacuum cleaner is just one example but i actually i've done this with i think 
like a, a certain dress that I'm after. Sometimes boutiques can have the same stock, like online boutiques. And if you find the same dress, sometimes you can get a coupon code from one site, but not on the other site. Or one of one of the sites might be like five or ten dollars cheaper. That kind of thing. If you're checking different sites, you will be exposed to the best price that you can get for that item. So it might take a little bit longer if you're just after something quick and easy, and you don't want to bargain. This tip isn't for you. <laughs> this is for someone who likes to scour the internet looking for the best price basically <laughs> so that is all of my tips and tricks on online shopping that i have for you right now if you have any more tips or tricks leave them down below and then we can all help each other save money which is so good hopefully this video has opened your eyes to a few different things and don't forget to check out shop tagger i'll leave everything in the description box below yeah happy shopping guys uh thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye